I like I'm noticing that my teeth is really, really um going to my mouth. I'm sorry, excuse me. Um, how can I say adjusting? Since I had that pain over here. Let me hold it. Since I had the pain here, up in here, that pressure pain. That was letting me know that that part, the upper part of my bone was healing. You know, the teeth is in your head. That's why when you get a toothache, everything hurts. That's in your head hurt, your ear hurt, your eye hurt, your nose hurt, you know. Look like way deep down in your ear. Because all that's connected. And the teeth were so, had broke off so in my mouth. In my gums, was in my mouth. It had broke off in my gums, both sides. This pressure over here wasn't that bad. So that means that that tooth ain't broke off. But I know on this side, I know that it was up in here. I know it was up in here. You know, because um, I had done, went years with that tooth. I had done, look, went years with that tooth broke off. I remember when it first broke off. I can't remember the time. The day, the year, or the month. But I do remember when I was eating, I felt something crunchy. And when I looked, it was a piece of tooth. And when I felt in my mouth, I had no more tooth. And it just kept going because, see, it was already rotten. So, so because it was already rotten, every time I would chew like anything sweet, and it would get up in here, it would rot now. Yep, it would rot now. And it will um, break off, break off, break off. Well, it had gotten to the point where I didn't even have no, no teeth showing. When I would smile, you would just see a space, but I would feel it. And because those, that, that's a molder, that teeth that broke off is molders. You know what I'm saying? And you chew with certain teeth. And once those teeth broke off, I was chewing, but I was chewing gum. I was chewing gum. Gums, rather. And I couldn't get you know, I couldn't chew the way I wanted to chew, and it was like, it was like, um, lumps, what I mean by lumps is that, um, is that, um, It was like lumps of um Alright, 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 alright. What's wrong? It's okay, what's wrong? Nana here.
Lie down, Elizabeth. Lie down, boo boo. Lie down. She always seems to wake up. Scream her little lung, lungs out. So um, these teeth had done. There was no hope for these teeth. Only thing there was to do was to get them out. And I had gotten up enough guts to get them out. So, and you know what? The Lord gave me the guts. He took away the fear. I was scared. I ain't gonna lie. And the thing was that I was, I was, I I, um, the thing was that I was put to sleep. The first time I went, right, they were supposed to pull out the teeth then, right? And they were telling me, they said, well, what are we going to do? We, I said, you pulling them all out today? They was like, no, 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 we'll pull out some today, and then you got to come out and we co- got to come back and pull out the rest. I said, okay. And then they said, well, there's, another, there's two options. That was the option. We can pull out some of them today. And then you come back and we pull out the rest. Or we can put it in and get approval to put you to sleep. And then that way we could just take them all out. So he went looking in my mouth and it looked at the x-ray and all that. And he was saying that, um, okay, so which teeth? And he was asking me, did I have pain and stuff like that? And I was like, no. I said, there's a little pain in the, well, this side, in the upper. I said, there's a little pain back there that's really starting to hurt. They said, oh, okay, okay. And that's it. And then he said, how many teeth are supposed to be coming out? And I was like, well, I don't know how many in number, but I know there's two up in here that need to come out. This one in the back that's hurting. That need to come out because it was starting to swell up my face. You know what I'm saying? If you follow me on my Facebook, there's some pictures. Before my teeth got taken out, you'll see my face is like on this side. That it was um, like kind of big, you know? And then it, then, and then the funniest thing, this side would hurt. And then after this side would start hurting, and it would kind of cool off and cool now. Then this side would swell up. This one didn't hurt, but it would swell up. And that would be the weirdest thing because they had did a root canal all up in the upper, all up in here. So that's another reason why the teeth was able to rot now. And I never really went to get them out because there was no, no nerve up there. They pulled that nerve out. But there was nerve back here. So... That bad boy was hurt. So the good thing, see, this is why I said God was all in the plan, you know. The good thing is Danielle had went to the dentist while we was out there in Queens. And they had gave her uh, antibiotics, the AM something, not penicillin, the other one. And they had gave her some of those, right, a bottle of those. And when this one started hurting, I started taking, I'm going to tell you something. I took that pill, right? This is is when we was in the tier two. This is after I got sick. So 
after I got sick and the Lord healed me, then my mouth started, you know, started acting up. And see, that's why I said that was all in God's plan because he had done, cleaned out my system, right? And um, now he had to clean out my mouth, the upper part, all up in here. I had so much bacteria all up in here. And the reason why I knew that I had bacteria and had with an upper respiratory infection, see what I'm saying? Because when I took that penicillin, well, I'm calling it penicillin, but they got different type of penicillin for different type of things. So the ones that you get from the dentist is for any type of um, infection in the in, in the oral part of your body, in your eyes, your nose, your respiratory. It's, it deals with the respiratory system. So I went and I took, you're supposed to take one, I think, once, twice a day. And I took that pill. The first time I took the pill, I felt something snap. Well, not like, not like a bone snap, like, like, a, you know how you be all stuffed up? And then when it clear up, you be like, wow, I can smell. So I felt that inside. And I was like, wow. And I felt the difference. It was like, it like gave me, like I had like some extra energy and stuff like that. And that's why I was saying, wow, I had a lot of bacteria in me. And it was, it started working. I started feeling good. You know, you feel a difference in there, you know, because Antibiotics is to fight, you know, antibiotics, penicillin, anything like that, is to fight any type of bacteria that's going on in the body, right? Even though God can do it, God can remove everything, you know, but sometimes he uses the doctor's ingredients to do what's needed in our human body. So... I started feeling the difference. I kept taking them pills, and they brought the swelling. I had to take them, like, they had to really get in my system. Like, I had to take them, like, for a week or two, because you, you're supposed to take them, like, seven days. I think it was seven days. I can't remember how it was until they all go on. So she had a big bottle. For, well, not a big bottle, but, you know, maybe, like, 14. So that's that's two weeks. So... I started feeling the difference, right? And then when I went to the dentist and I told them about the pain, they prescribed me some more of that medicine. And so I had to, um, when this side started messing up, because see, they couldn't take nothing out until the approval came. So I couldn't go back and couldn't see me, but I'm telling you, them pills was working. They did their job. They... And I still was taking them. They gave them to me. They gave them to me after. They gave them to me after. After they started taking the teeth out. Let me see if he's making this look like a roll. I don't want to have to walk all the way back up here. This thing. I told him I want to be faking. See it? They be hooking up. God is great. God is good. I'm thanking for all of you. God is great. Let's be praying. Give us all the little bit. Jesus name we pray. Amen. I'm much personal. Amen. Yeah. I'm home. Crispy. I guess I gotta start burnt next time. It's too soft. 
Okay. Rate improved. The company posted a revenue of $3.8 billion during the first qu during the quarter, up 30% from a year earlier. And Facebook has updated its okay. branding with a new colorful logo. In a blog post, the social media giant said it's making the change to differentiate between Facebook as a parent company and Facebook the app. It's a nod to its other apps, blue for Facebook, green for WhatsApp, and red and orange for Instagram. The Facebook app will It'll keep its own look of the signature blue logo with lowercase font. All right, time for a look at weather with Mike. So we got to take these 60s while we can. Yeah, mm -hmm. we got to say goodbye. No, bye. See you later. Bye. Yeah, see you later. I know, it's going to be a colder one for the next several days, ladies. And everyone tuning in, we got to hold on to the jackets and the coats. Yeah, it's going to be that cold going into the next couple of days. 61 to 62 degrees okay, here. Okay, oh boy, season. allegedly uh, stabbed his mother. This morning, but should taper out by... Uh, like the late morning by lunchtime should just be cloudy maybe a few breaks of sun here or there <laughs> a look out in the future cast kind of puts it by hour it's, it's, as you uh, see going into lunchtime it's a better if it's this way the east, and therefore we're just stuck with the clouds through this evening it clears out overnight and tomorrow we're going to see a cooler day high temperatures only near 52 I here in the Bronx it. but the sky is filled with sunshine it's kind of on the mild side but on the chillier side of the mild side of the spectrum there as you can see that in uh, the legend as we get into Thursday now, we do end up with morning sun, but that gets covered quickly by thickening clouds. A front approaches from the northwest, and eventually that front does send rain showers our way toward the evening commute. So 5, 6 o'clock, you're going to see rainfall in our area. Folks, remember last November we had a very interesting weather event where it almost crippled the tri-state area because it ended up snowing, and uh, a lot of us weren't prepared for it. I don't think this is that really? kind of situation. However... Starts off as rain, and toward 11 o'clock, the front passes through to end the storm as a wintry mix. It's a very brief wintry mix, so uh, don't be surprised, even though it rains on Thursday night, that it could change over to a brief shot of wintry mix at the very end of that storm. Near wintry midnight. mix, so that's why don't you just take snow. Into the weekend ahead with temperatures that drop uh, to the 40s for Friday and Saturday, as you can see here in your seven day forecast. Saturday and Sunday feature mostly sunny sky. <laughs> Well, it's one of America's favorite jelly treats, so today we take the time to celebrate. It's National Donut Day, so these not so healthy but delicious snacks are so good. Americans eat up, 10, up to 10 million billion of them a year. That's 31 donuts per person. And fun fact, the signature hole in the middle is meant to have to be done to help those donuts cook more evenly. I'm not very specific about my donuts, but the vanilla sprinkles. Mm -hmm. That's just 927. So, how is that? 923. Oh, yeah, but I gotta make another. I'll make a call. 